David Collister, I'm 22, I've had type 1 diabetes for six and a half years. I was diagnosed when I was 15. My name is Perrin Dykes and I'm 24 years old. I was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes two weeks before my 13th birthday. My name is Ashley, I was diagnosed with type 2 diabetes in 2009 when I was 19 and I'm now 24 years old. My name is Matt Cameron, I'm 27 and was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes when I was 11. My name's Georgie Peters. I've had type 1 diabetes for nearly four years and I was diagnosed two months before my 18th birthday in 2010. My name's Lou. I'm 29 years old and I've had type 2 diabetes for just over two years. I'm Marnie Davey. I'm 23 and I was diagnosed when I was 12. What interested me about the Diabetes Australia Young Leaders Program was that it brings together many young people living with diabetes from all across Australia. To meet other people with diabetes, vent frustrations with them and collectively work together to make a change. There's not too many people out there with type 2 diabetes that are willing to speak up and that made me want to speak out and be one of those people for people with type 2 diabetes. I wanted to give something back to Diabetes Australia which had helped me through my first couple of years of diagnosis. It's really great to have the Young Leaders Program there as kind of a, a beacon to young children who are trying to figure out what it is to be diabetic and how to deal with it. The Diabetes Australia Young Leaders Program provides a platform for us to share our stories and inform government on issues that are most important to us. The one area I'm interested in is assisting newly diagnosed young people with diabetes in knowing that their condition isn't something that stops them from living a normal and really fulfilling life. I would like to work with other young adults with diabetes out there to come up with different programs and strategies for people like us to help in their transitional care throughout life. Young adults with type 1 diabetes and eating disorders, it's a cause that I'm extremely passionate about and within Australia I haven't really found an organisation or a program that can help young men and women with type 1 and their eating disorders. One of the most important issues to me as a young person with type 1 diabetes is the access and cost of life-changing technology. More research into the relationship between um, our mental well-being and diabetes and how the two can impede upon each other. I'm interested in re-educating the media so that type 1 and type 2 diabetes isn't misrepresented so that people have a better understanding of what diabetes is all about. I've been backpacking through Europe and America. I drink, I go out, I still do mostly what I want, when I want. You don't have to be a slave to the pen or the pump. I haven't let type 1 diabetes stop me from doing anything I would like to do in life. It just takes confidence in yourself and managing your own disease. My message for other young people with type 2 diabetes would to be get involved, speak up, don't be invisible, don't be ashamed. Diabetes can happen to anyone.